Hi guys, welcome back to Dev Astrology. Today we are going to do the last video of the entire playlist in the series of Lords in different houses. And yes, we're talking about the 12th Lord in all houses today. 12th house, which is considered as one of the Dushthana Sthans, the Dushthana or the tough houses, so to speak. But as we always do in this channel, we try to see positive light in dif difficult situations as well. And that's what we're going to be doing in this video as well. 12th house represents your spiritual upliftment. Why? Because it is 12th to the loving Lord, to your ascendant. So if you, your body, your physical form is seen from the Lagna or from the Ascendant, 12th from it is seen the non-physical or the spiritual realm. And hence it becomes a very critical house from that perspective. But 12th to any house as we know also represents losses. So that could mean it could represent your losses in any shape or form and we will have to understand whether it's loss of your physical body or your assets, your mental peace, your job loss, business loss, loss of your spouse or any kind of challenges that you are facing. At the same time, it represents bed pleasures. Why? Because it is sixth from the seventh, prarabd of the marriage. And that is why one way to look at 12th house is the bed pleasures that you de derive in your life. It also represents your sleep. How comfortable, how peaceful you are sleeping. Because lagna is showing your awakening you wakened up the light and 12th to it it is the absence of light and in a way darkness could also be seen something which is the unknown and when we talk about the unknown we talk about the fears we talk about the unknown enemies obstructions that come to our life which is also represented from this it also represents your foreign settlement why? Because again, it is 12th to, to the Ascendant. Ascendant is the place or, or the point of your origin. And anything, a loss of that origin, a loss of that place is a place which is foreign to your native. That is why you see the foreign settlement or foreign placement or any kind of foreign connections as well, depending on the planets and the uh, you know uh, placements that are coming in your chart. It could... Uh, represent travel as well though we primarily see that from 3rd and 9th but I would want you to consider that 7th and 12th could also showcase some form of uh, travel in your life but at the end of the day in my mind 12th house represents search khoj as we say in Hindi it is it's a, it's not the research like we do in the 8th house but it is the search It's it's like finding a purpose and a lot of times you will see that purpose could be given from the 12th house itself. It is 8th to the 5th. So you have to understand now I'm hoping you guys would have started establishing the connections which I make from different houses. So it is 8th from the 5th which is your past life karmas. And 8th from that is your 12th house. It is 2nd to your 11th house. And when I was discussing the 11th house, if you've not had a chance, I would request you to please go back and revisit that. Because when you see the 12th house, it is not just the losses, but it could be the investments of your income. And that is why a lot of times in my monthly readings, I call out the importance of your stock portfolio investment. It could represent charitable deeds. It could represent, represent donations. And see, not all investments are materialistic in nature. Especially when it comes to 12th house, they should have some sort of a spiritual tinge to it. Yes, 12th house will also represent isolation. Or it will represent places that denote isolation. So specifically, within hospitals, asylums are seen as isolation because it's a mental isolation in a way. And you see how the realm is getting connected because we're talking about spiritual realm. We're talking about isolation from at a mental level. We're talking about isolation when you want to do that within your own house or from the people surrounding you. Even the bed pleasures that we are referring to are also a form of isolation because they take yourself at a higher level when you reach the peak of your pleasure or when you achieve that O. So that would also tie in and make it relevant from a 12th house perspective. 
of course in general people do see expenses and that is why they connect the dots with respect to the hospitals or jails as well and that is where the reputation or the loss of reputation of a person could also be seen from the 12th house any kind of insult any kind of demeaning uh, phase that comes to your life will be seen from the 12th house or the planets sitting in the 12th house it's also important to understand that how different planets behave in the 12th house so for example a venus it tends to get exalted in the 12th it is sixth to the seventh being the seventh lord in the kal purusha chart so and you know typically we say venus never gets the dosha or it doesn't get a negative impact when it comes and sits in the 12th house irrespective of the sign it is sitting in because it represents luxury and since 12th house represents expenses or your intent to acquire luxury in a way that is why it fits very well in synchronicity with venus jupiter is another planet but tends to do well why because jupiter represents super spirituality it represents teaching gurus and it is also the lord of 12th in the kalpursh chart so jupiter again is another planet which tends to do well in this place the challenging placement is that of surya sun sun presence in presence in the 12th tends to bring in some insult in life disrespect challenging placement is definitely that of mercury and it is extremely challenging if it is your lagna lord and going in there because what happens is mercury gets natural debilitation in the sign of pisces and guys i am talking here irrespective of the signs so for example moon in the second house whether or not it is in the sign of taurus it will be a good placement whether or not if it is in its own sign but mars or a mercury or a saturn in the 10th or a sun in the 10th is a good placement however because they are getting directional strength there however when it comes to a planet like mercury it loses its strength in the 12th house so it's not a great placement if you have it there another challenging placement is that of saturn as well it will not do too much damage in here and of course we will have to check, check into the specificities of your chart but it is a tricky placement for saturn mars is kind of neutral ketu will have a very good placement in the 12th house because ketu again aligns from the spiritual realm itself and that is where it finds itself comfortable and in fact the 6 12 axis of rahu and ketu is pretty good when rahu comes in 6th and sits in the 6th and ketu is in the 12th however rahu's placement in the 12th when it becomes vice versa is not a great position then moon it is going to struggle both luminaries are going to struggle in the 12th house i'm not saying that they will be abysmally bad you have to of course look at the ashtavarga score the shadbala and stuff and we will get into all that stuff later in this channel but generally speaking moon in the 12th is also not going to do great so i hope this gives you some understanding as to how the planets are going to operate but in this video we are going to be talking about what does the 12th lord do and some of you keep asking this question i have put in a video as well that explains different houses and that explains signs and ownership of different uh, uh, you know lords i would urge you guys to please go and check out that video maybe i'll put a link as well of of the same here so that it's easy for you to refer to the same but without further ado we will talk about the 12th lord coming into the lagna or in the ascendant itself now this planet is moving second to itself it is going second to itself so it, we we should we, we should actually try and see what are the positive that it's going to bring in in you it's going to bring a mindset of spirituality being charitable being kind generous towards society in general you will have a mindset to have some care about people around you in life not everything is negative and bad about placements if that was the case you would you would only have the best houses available right when when we see all these 12 houses we have to understand that are there any positive karmas that are also getting carried so when 12th house comes to the first when it is going second to itself the expenses are turning themselves into deposits means your investments your charitable deeds your good karma is going to set the stone for your 
personality itself it will shape you as a better person it will bring more or less good qualities in you you could be a spiritual guru yourself you could be a good mentor you could be a good teacher to others and that is going to be a very positive element for example if you are a capricorn ascendant and jupiter being the ninth lord is coming to your lagna there are, even though it is getting debilitated it will first of all get its sneej bang because it is coming in kendra in the lagna house itself but more importantly the aspects of this jupiter will be so pious that you will be doing a lot of good to others in your life and we will not get into the complexities of what jupiter does within its own own house because i have a perspective around it and i have shared it multiple times in my videos but the point i want to push across is that when the 12th lord is coming to the lagna it brings that kind of a thinking where you care about people your your investment in terms of time man, money and energy results into some positive outcome in shaping your personality as well you could be associated with professions that are related to places of isolation or you could be associated with professions that require you to bring psychiatric and psychology sort of uh, you know engagements now i'm not saying that you are going to be a psychiatrist but you could have that knack you could have an understanding to empathize with people get in their shoes and then recommend them what is the best approach to be taken so you are the right people within your friend circle within your family to be approached to and seek guidance from but at the same time it has some tricky situations as well it could bring a very dreamy sort of an attitude it could make you or it could bring out a personality in which you do not give a damn about what is happening in the world because you are somewhere elevated in your own own thought process and i don't see that as a negative because i see people you know people kind of demeaning and disrespecting this placement everywhere because that is how the world is seeing the world assumes that you are a lost person no you're not you're not lost you just have a higher purpose and it might not be a materialistic purpose in life guys don't give a damn about what people think or say or communicate about this kind of a placement please try and see the strength of what each planet and each placement is doing to you so yes it could bring a dreamy behavior but that dreamy behavior is for the world but for you you will find an elevation in your thought process you will not be happy with stupid stuff discussing how the meme uh, you know is going viral or you know any obnoxious stuff which is bringing pleasure to normal people you want to talk value you want to think value which is valuable to you and it might not be materialistic it could be in the spiritual realm but the tricky bit is because it is also the lord of bed pleasures and stuff it could bring in some negative energies as well especially with a malefic it could bring in tendencies where you are too much engrossed or overthinking about certain aspects related to bed pleasure itself or it could be that you know in a very negative situation your mind is into the criminal activities not so good friendly activities for the society for the community and that is where you have to take a note of it put a watch on yourself that are you moving in the right direction because the same placement can do a lot of damage but at the same time it can elevate you to a different level it can it can bring a very differentiated thought process in how you approach your own actions you might have a different vision to the same problem and remember successful people they don't do different things they do things differently it's a very common quote just came into my head while i was you know speaking right now but the point i'm trying to emphasize here is that you are one of those people who do things differently and be proud of it and stick with that thought process because that is going to help you succeed remember the same 12th lord coming to the lagna is aspecting your 7th house as well your approach towards your marriage towards partnership towards business towards partners in general in life could be very very different you might correct connect in your married life at a very spiritual level or you might want to have a lot of action at a physical level with your partner and that is completely fine as you as long as you are not straying in life and you are committed it's absolutely okay to explore that and 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 be uh that expressive so this placement has a lot of positives to itself when it is coming to the ascendant when it is moving second places away your involvement in any of these activities is going to add to your overall success in life 
your investment towards higher learning your investment in terms of educating yourself to get in any of these professions your investment in giving yourself proper sleep is going to make you a stronger person physically and that's a great thing to have some of the challenges could be people with this placement could have headaches or eye related problems now it definitely connects if it is a saturn or a sun or even hair loss with saturn and jupiter's connection as well which is a very strong possibility but we will not jump into remedies and those kind of connections at this point in time but i hope if you are watching this and you've heard a lot of negative aspects about this placement please try and take a cue out of this video and see that how you can better your life and use this very placement to your strength i hope you enjoyed this perspective when the 12th lord is moving into the second house it is going three places away from itself the lord of expenses sleep spirituality is going into the house of your family your bank balance your wealth your food and if you see it is a three way movement means it it talks about the efforts it talks about the hobbies it talks about the neighborhood it talks about your communication it is in fact going into the house of communication as well so what you would realize is that first and foremost that there will be a lot of spending of your time effort and energy towards your family affairs you will have situations in life somehow or the other where you have to overcome problems for your family and this is not a negative thing it's a good thing in my mind you have to put in efforts to solve and fix problems for your family or to elevate the social stature of your family it's the investment of your energy in that direction you could be a person who with your enterprising behavior could uplift the status of your family business or your family wealth and income in itself you will be able to bring strategies thought process which could impact family investment into wealth creation so you will with this placement it will give you a platform to build on top of whatever you have if you have this placement you must consider self employment or associating yourself into family business itself because it's going to be a productive placement from that perspective communication will become extremely important for you the choice of words that you have towards your family members how you speak it's going to make or break your relationships as well and it is going to be extremely critical especially people who have any kind of malefics placed here a mars or a saturn or a rahu what you would notice is that you might not intend to but you would have this personality of using a lot of cuss words in your statements in your day to day normal communication and you might be using cuss words at home as well i mean it's like uh, it, it 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 would come with a flow very natural to you you do not mean to insult anyone with those kind of words but it's a part of your vocab so it's a very interesting uh, you know aspect to your life and only your family members will be able to understand that yeah this guy doesn't mean it he just uses these words within the flow however to the external world it could be perceived negatively because it is going three places away from itself it will have a formal reflection as well you will bring in certain spiritual practices to your family at some point in time you will have this trigger this elevation where you would want to uh, inculcate certain habits within your family itself that they follow a strict regimen around it from here it is also aspecting your 8th so one tricky situation will be that there is a very high possibility of triggering some sort of sudden loss to either yourself or within your family at some point in time and what that loss could be is something that you might have to look into your own chart and figure out but i am saying loss here not not gains or that loss resulting into some sort of a transformation in your life within you know some sort of an incident within your family which leads to this transformation within within you your character your entire personality and that could be a trigger of you turning spiritual in life again there is one more tricky situation in this placement this does bring possibility of the native developing illicit relationships close 
family marriages in their life so what i'm trying to say is that in some cultures people do marry their first second cousins and stuff and i'm not saying it is good or bad you know i'm just trying to give you an example from an astrology perspective with this placement the possibility of establishing a relationship within your family tree or connections is a very strong and high possibility or it could bring because it is the motive that is coming to the native it could bring a tendency to form some relations outside of your existing marriage so you might want to be very very careful of this kind of a situation because it will definitely trigger your 8th house elements and it could it could cause certain problems however i see that this is a very very strong combination for people to build wealth wealth using their assets it's a strong enterprising opportunity or capability that the native will have in them when the 12th lord is moving into the 3rd house 12th lord moving into the 3rd house is going four places away from itself it's a kendra connection a square connection in this case coming in third house represents your hard work your neighbors your communication your siblings and when 12th lord goes in here there are a few things that i have observed now in multiple charts you could go back and check with your parents or refer to this there is a very strong possibility both third and fourth as well actually of your mom having miscarriages or childbirth loss or something of that sort you know post your birth it's a very very strong possibility of this happening in your chart it's a loss that comes towards the siblings now i'm not saying that you will be the only kid or you would not have any siblings but at least once or twice that kind of a situation might come in your uh, parents chart post your birth it could be an unwanted pregnancy that could have come in place the other interesting thing would be that your residence could be very very close to you know a religious place you might have some sort of temple church mosque a place of worship near by your place of residence itself and irrespective of you changing your residences through the course of your life you will find you know you will find that you end up finding a place that is in very close uh, you know vicinity of such places of uh, worship and it's a good thing for you to happen it's a positive uh, element you will find a lot of peace in terms of spending time or energy or in or, or rather i should say in 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 being any kind of a formal working contract or relationship with your siblings itself or with your neighbors too like a lot of people they tend to find you know recreational activities hobbies that they pursue uh, within their community network like you are one of those people who will spend a lot of time and energy doing that it will be part of your daily routine like you you call off your day's work you hit the gym with somebody who's your neighbor and you go and exercise together or play tennis together or go for swimming together some sort of hobbies will be in conjunction with someone and they would have sort of a friendly connect or uh, you know emotion with you this is also a placement which will require you to be in a profession that requires you to be traveling you will be extremely successful if you are in a traveling profession in this case your growth your assets will 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 balloon if you switch into a into a structure that requires or have some sort of connection in terms of tourism industry travel travel industry you know bd reps who are responsible for taking you know new drugs to the doctors and you know uh, medical chains and stuff that sort of profession is also seen from this connection but at the end of the day you have to understand that whilst it is going from you know from 12th house which is the house of moksha it is going into the house of kama so there will be some sort of a confusion as well in terms of lack of peace that will always be there in you know either it is because of uh, you not having the right like there will be a tendency of taking stress unnecessary stress in your life it could it could in fact ignite another possibility of starting something of your own being enterprising about it 
but i will recommend that do not jump into conclusion of taking a you know a a startup call or a you know enterprising call in your life just with this placement because it could result into loss of your assets as well with this placement you may want to be extremely careful with your assets and your assets investments there is a high chance that you could risk the growth of your investments with this placement but at the same time when 12th lord is coming into the third it is aspecting the ninth so the level of spirituality and the peace that you will find the kind of songs that you would want to listen in in fact one of your hobbies could be listening into motivational songs inspirational songs devotional songs you could enjoy writing in that space as well you will definitely find a mentor in your life hopefully if it is you know a connection with benefics you will find a mentor specifically if it is a jupiter or venus who is going to be transformational for your life like that like either finding the right mentor or maybe even joining a certain community or group or cult whatever you might want to name it a religious group it will bring that that peace that satisfaction loss of that distress that overthinking that i was referring to a couple of minutes back would happen once you form that sort of a connection or maybe having a habit of taking long distance pilgrimages will bring you that satisfaction as well there are some people who find some wish fulfillment satisfaction growth once they start visiting to a certain temple to a certain church to a particular place or meeting a particular priest that kind of a trigger is going to be extremely important in your life and once you find it you will sort of find your wings now when the 12th lord is going into the 4th house it is going five places away to itself and it's a trine connection moksha house to the moksha house it's a good placement it's a 5 9 connection that is coming into play and i had talked about the 5th lord coming into the 12th as well and when we see the 12th lord coming into the 5th see some of the po- very positives are that the family environment would be extremely pious no matter whether you are rich or not there will be a natural mental upliftment in your family your mother could be a very very religious person or you could have these tendencies that you want to create a family environment in conjunction in with the efforts of your spouse fourth is tenth to seventh with the partnership of your spouse that you develop this habit this this culture within your family with your kids that there has to be satisfaction in whatever we have this is not a combination where you chase crazy dreams this is a combination of satisfaction it is a it's it's a combination that brings happiness being content and in this materialistic world today guys trust me it is the most expensive thing to buy or to have in life so if you have this placement you are having a very fortunate placement in place because you are able to value what you have you are able to cherish whatever you have and if you are not doing that it's 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 something that you're ruining in terms of your chart giving you that ability and you are not enjoying it why because 12th lord could potentially be the lord of some other house as well so you might want to check that too but it brings a lot of positive aspects in terms of your overall growth when you when you do something for the others it sort of automatically comes back comes back to you and you grow your own assets as well even your materialistic assets but that would happen only when you do not have that materialism in play what do i mean by that say you are engaged in a profession that requires you you run an ngo or you run even a for profit organization or you work in a job in itself but when you go in terms of leaps and bounds to put in efforts without expecting some great outcome that outcome in itself would be such that it will deliver the growth of your personality your assets your wealth in return it could be as simple as your strategy towards investing long term in the markets and i'm sorry i'm giving a materialistic example to a to a uh, uh, 12th house 12th lord uh, uh, video but 
just to connect the dots simply your mindset of continuously investing in small amounts in the long run with this placement will result into a very strong expanded portfolio in your life this is another combination which could give you settlement or ownership of property in a foreign land especially if a saturn forms a connection at least a couple of properties and sometimes i've seen you know multiple properties coming in uh, uh, you know if saturn gets in, in very good uh, dignity or even a mars for that matter so it will give you a very strong indication of you know foreign land ownership your business proposition or your association could be with international uh, folks again from a married life perspective this is going to be a very decent combination you will find both physical and emotional intimacy in your mar married life as long as your seventh lord is also not afflicted it's going to be very very good from that angle as well you will have uh, an, an educated partner who is in tune to your you know logical as well as spiritual bent of mind so 12th to 4th can give you that possibility another interesting thing would be that your mother you know if 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 in some cases people do not have that foreign settlement poss possibility your mother could have a lot of knowledge or understanding about different subjects or different cultures she could be very very conversant in communication in different languages or could have the ability or could have had the education a very solid education so to speak uh, you know away from her home so it will bring a very you know uh, intellectually a very sound uh, personality to your mother as well from that perspective however in this case i would want you to be careful as to how you go about um, you know the moment you start strategizing towards your investments carefully and or you start taking certain calls in terms of being more materialistic with your investments they will tend to somehow automatically backfire say you see the performance of your investments over 5 years and you are like i'm i'm a smart dude and i'm doing the right thing why not uh, you know churn this placement in the next 1 year and and see how my portfolio perform it will tank so you know just do the good deed in this case investment is the good deed for your family for your legacy just do the good deed and forget you might just buy a plot somewhere in the suburbs just buy and forget it your kids might enjoy that or you might enjoy it in the you know at a later point at a later stage in your life that is how this placement is going to work but yes uh, this is going to be a very very good uh, connection in terms of foreign settlement in terms of some sort of foreign profession you could even have a work from whom possibility living in your own land but working with international clients that is also a very strong possibility in this case if a moon or a venus is forming that uh, connection very very strong chances because they are aspecting your 10th house as well remember that the the 12th lord will be aspecting your 10th house so that connection is going to get activated for you when the 12th lord is going into the 5th house it is going six places away from itself it's a six and eight connection it is going to a good house guys but it will bring in certain tricky elements there could be definite possibility of you finding some challenges either in your degree in your education in your schooling or it could result into some sort of a delay in terms of your family pl planning conception or educational delays for your kid as well if you are at that age group and watching this video if you've not had a challenge in your own education trust me one of the other factors are going to kick in because it's the sixth movement from the 12th which is coming into fifth however you could have a tendency of educating yourself reading learning any kind of spiritual books you might enjoy reading bhagavad gita or any of those you know i just got ram charit manas for myself because i want to i want to understand ram more i want to understand his personality so that kind of an interest where you want to make somebody an idol and learn from that is also going to come in you so it's a good thing to happen your but your education will have definite impact in this space 
it will have some sort of a challenge maybe you had to take a certain loan or your family could had could have had to you know arrange for the money for your education with a lot of challenges and then make it happen sorry to say this but some of you might even flunk flunk means you, you might fail um in, in your examinations in your competitive examinations specifically and might not be able to succeed to your ultimate goal that is another challenge that will come into place this is a connection that will form a very uh, you know a casanova sort of a structure as well on some some people's chart because it's coming into the house of romance and bed pleasure so premarital uh, connection uh, with partners is highly probable uh, with this combination you will be very very romantic and very expressive around it it's it is also giving a tendency where fructifying of a romantic relationship or culmination of that into marriage could be tough some sort of challenges disappointment could come in that sphere i don't want you to be disappointed because i would want you to see other aspects watch the entire playlist and see how are the other placements working out because throughout the series i have talked about how love marriage your relationships etc are going to be getting culminated in your life with this 5 7 11 9th 3rd and now 12th house connection as well but it is going to be very important for you to take a note of this 12th house is the prarabdh of your marriage and it is going into the into the 5th which is the representation of your past life karma so this placement could be tricky in terms of bringing a loss to your accumulated assets of past life karma as well if you continue in the wrong path and you have to decide what is right and wrong based on your own conscience your 12th lord will answer that to you you don't need this video for that it's an excellent placement when it comes to stock market trading because we're talking about investments and then we are talking about creativity and this is at a fast pace at a fast pace because it's at number 6 so it's not just your own assets you could actually go ahead and take assets of a bunch of people you could run something not as a company you could be employed somewhere where you are responsible as a fund manager to manage a portfolio that is an excellent combination if you are actually looking forward to be in industries that are related to medicine that are related to law that are related to uh, 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 you know mortgages loans litigations banking insurance you are going to do extremely well with this combination and you will not be doing run of the mill work in this combination say you are a lawyer you will have a very creative bent of mind you could be working actually in the uh, digital law space copyright related matters company law in digital assets that sort of a profession you will have to think and understand where you could succeed you could do pretty well in terms of creating new credit card products for an amex or bofa or any of the banks or whatever you you, you could think of but the point i'm trying to make is that with this combination combine creativity with spending and the sixth connection and you will see that how this same very connection will start acting so beautifully for you so the same placement could give negative traits and it could have very very positive elements for you as well i hope you are able to connect the dots here and look at your chart and figure out how you are going to use this connection to make a positive impact in your life sincere urge would be that figure out that how you are going to use some of the spiritual aspect of your life because see at the end of the day one thing is common between the 5th and the 12th they both are extremely spiritual houses and somewhere or the other you will notice this that you you are carrying that thread you are carrying that connection from your past life into this life and into the future around spirituality around thinking that soulmate soul flame connection kind of a thing can also be seen through this connection itself it's a challenging connection and yet it is a great connection you could end up romancing a person whom you've seen, known from the past life and i don't like too much to get into this because uh 
and I have a very super active 12th house. That's why I talk about spirituality and I talk about all this stuff. Uh, I, I prefer not to go in that direction too much. But since we've already touched upon this, I strongly believe that this connection can bring you in a romantic connection to your either past life connect or a soul flame that could that is not meant for this life but in 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 some other ri- life some other multiverse or whatever you want to talk about so it's a very interesting combination from from that perspective however the point i was trying to make is do not let your spiritual bent of mind fade away it is going to help you evolve and grow in this connection all right and remember when when the 12th lord is coming in here it is also aspecting your 11th house so you you know all these elements that i've talked about your goals and desires your aspirations will also be accomplished when you spend your time effort and energy related to these areas itself or your aspirations to these areas will definitely be fulfilled that is another way for you to look at the same placement now when the 12th lord is going into the 7th house sorry to the 6th house it is going seven places away from itself it is going into the house of known enemies the lord of unknown enemies is going into the lord of known enemies so it's a powerful connection actually guys because it is going in opposition to itself and then it is going to be looking back at its own house and it's a powerful connection because i think this is another combination of good shatruhanta yoga yes you will have a lot of enemies yes you will have a lot of obstacles and challenges but you will be able to overcome those obstacles and challenges as well you will be able to overcome the problems that are going to come to your life this is a combination where your effort energy your spiritual bent of mind is going into the daily regimen and the tricky part with this placement that comes into play is that at one end we are talking about something which is non physical which is at a spiritual realm or at a different realm in itself and then it is coming into its own opposition where it has to get into a physical rhythm it has to face that daily exercise that daily regime regimen that daily obstruction so at times that it becomes a very difficult combination but remember it's a vipreet raj yoga because every time a 6 8 and 12 do interchange what happens is that the activation in your life happens after some problem after some trouble or through the loss of some other person i told you it's the you will you are going to overcome the enemies and you you will not even know because 12th house represents the unknown enemies unknown enemies are going into the territory of known enemies so you will not even realize when somebody is at a losing end and how you benefit out of it example very simple example 12th house represents foreign connection correct many of you you would find that you would have got it gotten international opportunities at your workplace in your career when you had least expected it you kept on trying for it and it was not working out for you but somebody else loses out on an immigration visa or you know they had a pregnancy and they had to go on a maternity or a paternity break and there was a gap and boom so somehow you swoosh in and you get that opportunity that's vipreet rajoka coming into play enemies competition they are slashed by the unknown things that are happening in the spiritual realm and things are working out for you you understand how this works so it's not a negative combination it's a good combination yes there will be certain level of discomfort it's like going out to its own opposition you could be uncomfortable in certain areas you will find it hard to push yourself on a daily basis it will be very very tough for you to do that you will not be able to sit and do Uh, you know worship god or chant mantras and uh, you know uh, have a habit of visiting church every sunday it's going to be very hard with this combination you will struggle with that but doesn't mean that you will not have a spiritual bent of mind at the end of the day that 12th lord is looking back at the, its own house so what you will realize is that the meaning of spirituality will be very very different for you the way you approach spirituality will be different for you the way you approach your problems will be different for you 
and remember i said the same thing for the lagna even if you do not have 12th lord in lagna i request you to please go back and watch it because you should be able to derive certain in inputs out of it it's a 17 connection that's why i'm trying to give you that perspective go and watch that section please guys for you it is relevant because what you will find is your way of doing things will be different you will not do different things you will do things differently so do not be do not be overwhelmed that you know things are not working out for you because yes that sort of dissatisfaction will remain to a certain point in every activity that you do in your life see it is going to a challenging house but remember with your perseverance and patience every time you will be able to overcome it invariably and that is the beauty of this it's not a niche bhanga it's a vipreet raj yoga something somehow will pan out that will make you succeed but you cannot drop the ball you cannot you know quit marriage will be challenging with displacement it will be tough but again if you are able to showcase that patience in your life a lot of charts i have seen they have very strong yogas of divorce but it is the sheer perseverance and the right dashas that help people overcome those kind of situations so if you are one of those and watching this i request you and recommend you to show some patience unless and until it's a physically abusive and hurtful situation if it is something that you believe that you want to conserve and preserve you with this placement can give a fight for that as well you will have that strength somehow things are going to pan out for you again malefics are going to do pretty well in this placement again because it's going into the sixth connection your partner in or rather finding your partner or getting married to the person will have its own set of dif difficulties you will either find bliss in your marriage after a certain point in of time or you will get married after a certain set of struggles that you have to overcome the same thing will be applicable to your business uh, uh, proposition as well i will however recommend not to go for a business uh, or a you know enterprising road map with this kind of connection you might want to see the other placements and figure out how things are working out for you however being in a job and professions related to some of these challenging areas that we've talked about is going to be extremely good you are going to do well in those areas you are going to do well uh, in a foreign land as well the the prospect of you moving into a foreign country or traveling to a foreign country for work will be very high with this kind of a placement as well 12th lord coming into 6th and aspecting itself back all right uh, last bit any kind of extra marital marital exploration with this placement is going to be highly risky and it could be detrimental for your marriage uh, it will be an expose it will come out you know some people are able to manage and scoot through it but not in this placement it's going to come out rise and shine so be very careful uh, because that tendency could also come into play and there is also a possibility that your spouse could have that tendency and you will be able to find that as well now when the 12th lord is moving into the 7th house it is going eight places away from itself and it is the same 8 6 connection like we were talking about in the 5th house few minutes back coming into play 8th means it represents transformation it represents some sudden changes it represents research and 12th represents spirituality it represents bed pleasures it represents your investments your expenses and when the 12th lord is coming to the 7th it is also going to be aspecting your ascendant your lagna itself means it is also going to be shaping your personality now what happens in this case is that and 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 few minutes back in one of my other videos as well i had called out that 12th lord is again very house is very critical because it is 6th to the 7th 12th house represents your prarabdha it is the same place where venus goes and gets exalted it is the sixth connection sixth shows the culmination of the fifth that is why sixth represents par prarabdha and when 12th lord is going eighth to itself coming into the sixth house you will see that there is some sort of a karmic relationship in your marriage coming into play there are certain 
certain changes, dynamic changes that are going to come, which are going to be very, very transformative to your personality. It is going to, you know, disrupt everything that you have ever thought or imagined. And there are very high chances with this placement. There are there are very strong possibilities, especially if malefics are into play and other other placements of the chart also need to be seen. But you know, with due caveat, I need to call out that it's a very strong possibility of having some sort of tumultuous situation in your marriage because of uh, the hidden or the unknown or the secret desires that come into play or the secrecy, extramarital situation, illicit activities coming into play that could impact or transform your marriage. Whether or not it will result into a complete separation uh, and thereby, you know, changing you, your personality, your mindset or changing and transforming your marriage itself seen needs to be seen through other placements as well. But that is definitely going to be one of the biggest triggers in this life with this placement. The other possibility would also be that it could bring a lot of action and intimacy within your marriage. But typically, the former that I have mentioned is more of a probable scenario. You will realize that you would be, you know, somehow, as I said, that the relationship or the marriage in itself is karmic. So the person that you end up marrying with is going to bring in certain situations in your life that will make you introspect and identify that what are the changes that are required in your life and or what transformation that you need to go through. It's the native who has to go through the transformation in this combination. And the challenges will be inevitable. Similarly, with this kind of a combination, I will not recommend people to actually jump into a business kind of a situation because it is going to bring a lot of problems in your business life as well. Unless otherwise you have other good aspects, especially if a Jupiter aspects. See, Jupiter is the biggest savior in our entire chart. If Jupiter aspects and a good aspect, it could actually calm down a lot of problems that you could encounter with this placement and thereby provide you with certain relief. Other benefits could also help, but Jupiter's aspect is going to be absolutely critical. Or if Jupiter is the lord of uh, seventh and sitting in some uh, good dignity or even the seventh lord is sitting in a good dignity or else you will find a lot of challenges with this kind of a combination and you will find that struggle coming in your life so i will not recommend you to be working in a business setup as well because it will show a lot of losses in that space it's it's the loss loss of marriage loss of business partnership and stuff coming into play but not everything is going to be extremely bad because Again, you have to see that 12th Lord represents spirituality. It represents charity. And if you bring those elements into your 7th house aspects, things could be very, very transformative. For example, a bad trigger in your life could make you a very spiritual person and it might just simply you know, bring a U-turn to all the problems and challenges that you're facing in your life. And you have to see the Scorpio uh, you know, aspect. What are the kind of planets sitting in your Scorpio sign when this placement is coming into play? It is very, very important for you to understand that as well. Because see, it's a challenging placement. It's not an easy placement. It's a prarabdha that you are carrying into your marriage, into your business partnerships, into any kind of partnerships, into your social life as well, into your opposition, which is going to change you. So this is a connection which is meant to happen to trigger something in your life and completely make you a new person. But what sort of a shift will happen will be seen from your Scorpio placement in your chart. So you need to understand that as well. And see how Mars is performing. Because Mars placement or aspect or connection with 7th will also become critical in this case. This is a connection that will enable you potentially getting married to somebody or forming some sort of a relationship with a person from a different community somebody from a different culture even a different land altogether you could get married to somebody like you meet someone online and stuff and you form forge that connection in a good sense this is a very good connection for people who have a research mindset because search and research are going to get combined some trigger in your life is going to enable you to embark on a journey 
where you could do some transformative discovery you could be the people who might think about the outside world about the outside realm or you go into the depths microscopic or super microscopic about things you might want to discover what is there what is the unknown how can that be found and how can that change things so if you are again in a profession that is related to metals you are going to do decently well i would not want you to you know to 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 uh, rather i should say you know you being in a trading business or in a in a profession that requires investments into metals and stuff and commodities is going to be great for you actually with the same combination you are going to find that you like to go into the minutest of the details of the hidden of the unknown and then unearth unravel them and then figure out what it means for you this is going to happen you know if you start doing this it will start evolving you in a different person and the negative effects will go away but if not some transformation will come and then you will unravel that you are changing your personality type your mindset and then expressing yourself in that uh, fashion or growing with that with that personality type because at the end of the day this lord is then aspecting your lagna as well your 12th lord is aspecting your lagna so it's going to change how you operate when 12th lord goes into the 8th house it is going from one moksha place to another moksha sthan it's going to a lower moksha sthan but it is a good connection why because it is going nine places away from itself and as i was talking about with the 6th house this is another example of vipreet raj yoga coming into play you are going to be immersed in topics of research discovery search finding something and most importantly your search could be related to you know in the scientific measures of uh finding a cure of some disease it could be finding what how do for example criminals think how do prisoners think and how can you change that that entire aspect of psychology psychiatric behavior is going to be very very keen in you you could you know be very very engrossed in uh detecting something and when i am saying i am not talking about a spy or a detective mindset here i am talking more of you know astronomy even astrology could be of interest to you in this kind of a connection you could be very good astrologer if you have a good placement coming uh, with 12th lord coming into the 8th house you are a person who would like to get into the minutest of the details and figure out how that thing is working it's a 9 5 connection and you will you will prosper once you are able to form a connection with some sort of a spiritual leader when you listen into some sort of a good astrologer and you derive value from that astrologer that is where you get the trigger and you start studying astrology and uh, you know uh, immerse yourself into it and you 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 yourself on a chart your own path in that space so it's a good combination it's a positive combination from that angle it's a vipreet raj yoga what it would mean is that some sort of an because at the end of the day 12th house represents unknown enemies unknown enemies are getting into the hidden areas the unseen areas so you will not come to know how did you find an opportunity that worked out for you it's a ninth connection something related to your father something related to your religion something related to spirituality something related to travel all these aspects of your life could work out for you when you stopped you know trying for it you are almost given up hope on some of those areas and then they will work out for you why because it was an opportunity that was not coming to you it was standing you know with with somebody else but that person could not grab it and that is where you were second in line and you could just continue with that so you are going to find a very interesting combination here coming into play where you will succeed after i would not say multiple failures but after a lot of patience and perseverance very similar to the 6th house situation but your career prospects your travel prospects to pilgrimages to any kind of religious places are going to be extremely great you will find sudden wealth coming into you especially if it is in connection with your father that is going to happen because here 12th lord is going to be aspecting your second house as well however in a tricky situation and you will have to analyze all the other placements too it could also depict certain losses coming to you you might have to spend in a uh, treatment for your for your family member the the opportunity of you having 
a sudden wealth in your life will also trigger a possibility of you spending the same wealth towards your family now that could be that spending could be either in a medical kind of a situation or it could be just spending on their luxuries it's not that you are going to absorb that for yourself you are going to use it for some somebody else for your wealth you might get inheritance you might get insurance related money for some reason and then you realize that you are using that money to start your own business you you fund your own enterprising activity with that you might just pump that into the growth of family business you get inheritance and you take that money and you start a new venture that sort of a possibility will happen when 12th lord is coming into the 8th it will also have a negative connotation guys and i want to call this out because 12th house also represents bed pleasures and 8th house is second to 7th so it gives a very tricky and dangerous combination in one exploring outside and and, and seeing that what may or may not work for them uh and sort of a secret affair kind of a situation is a very high possibility in this combination too but th those kind of negative situations or activities or possibilities are very high chances in this connection but because it is a vipreet raj yoga and vipreet raj yoga is not a it's not a first grade raj yoga it's not a niche bhanga as well it is something that you your life transpires after some sort of a transformation it transpires into something good for you something positive for you so you will have to keep facing the brunt of life for a considerable period of time and and if you guys are watching this right now and you are losing patience guys i would want you to just stick it out be patient do not lose hope because things are going to turn in the right dasha it's just the right period that you have to wait for and the same placement is going to give you massive opportunities in your life so i hope that makes sense to you and if does please smash on that like button guys now when the 12th lord is going into the 9th it is going 10 places away from itself and sitting here it is going to be aspecting your third house travel is going to become prominent you will definitely have some sort of foreign settlement or foreign travel in your life that is going to be very very important it will most definitely be triggered related to your profession or post your uh, you know you you start your career very high chances you will find that you are working in corporations multinational corporations that require you to travel frequently or your job role in itself at some point in time depending on the dasha and antar dasha of the planet you will be triggered to move away from your current place of residence this combination will also exude a lot of your energy into doing short distance travel again related to work wherever you stay like having weekend getaways having quarterly uh, 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 short travels to nearby locations is going to be a very frequent thing in your life like everybody likes to travel but it's going to be much more frequent for you it is also possible that your father could be highly religious highly spiritual by nature you will you will uh, especially if jupiter has a connection or an aspect to this your father will have a very high spiritual bent of mind you will be getting the right support from your superiors and from your bosses but at the same time one success mantra or remedy is every time you report into a leadership which is of a different community different uh, culture different you know uh, land different background to yours person who is not from the same background that you are coming from they are different to you they are going to become the best samaritans of success in your professional and career life see it is going into the 9th house it is going into your house of fortune and your fortune your destiny is going to rise only after uh, after the considerable amount of efforts that you are spending in with your own karma so you are going to write your own destiny with this placement this is you know i've 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 seen so many people predicting and analyzing this as loss of your destiny no i don't see it's a very negative way to look at things guys i don't want you to think negatively here please understand it is exhaustion of your energy so it's like you are writing your own destiny what can be more beautiful than this isn't it you are looking at the the 12th lord is aspecting the third in itself means the 12th lord is saying put in your hard work and write your own destiny and that's the best way to look and approach 
at this and i'm telling you with this placement the harder you slog at your work the more you work the, the more efforts you put in terms of your karma they are going to be transformative in some unfortunate situations it could also result into an early departure of your father okay um saturn could give that uh, very very high chances other malefics could also have an impact when i talk about other malefics consider rahu as the owner of aquarius and ketu as the owner of scorpio so you have to think from those angles as well but saturn definitely can give that as a possibility but at the same time uh, you know this 10th to 4th connection means that there is a high possibility that you might end up owning a house away from your birthplace you will definitely acquire property and you will acquire a decent property with your own efforts finding the right spiritual guru or at some point in time developing your own interest towards spiritual towards spirituality to such an extent that you yourself could start spreading the word attending conferences sharing ideas maybe even a youtube channel around spirituality you could lean in that direction where you you just enjoy bouncing off ideas and see you will have your own bent of mind you will have your own thinking towards this so you would want to not just play by the book but bring in your own perspectives to it especially if 12th lord is in a revti kind of a nakshatra and that is for the aries ascendant because revti nakshatra would only be there if you know 12th house is pisces so you know aries people you guys could have that sort of a mindset or if the 12th lord is coming and sitting in revti nakshatra in the 9th house right so that's another possibility that could come into play see 12th house carries its own challenges 12th lord carries its own challenges but we need to see that what are the positives it can deliver and how do you make full use of it there is one more tricky situation that could come into play there could be situations where you might not align or be in agreement with what your you know bosses or superiors superiors uh ask you to do i mean they might have a micro management sort of a behavior while you are a person who might want to see things from a higher level you know because see your way of doing things will be very different you will you might not do different things you might do the same thing but you would like to do things differently and that is where with this placement at times you might find misalignment so it will be always better for you to work under a boss who is coming from a different background different mindset and is open to or is welcoming to see that differentiated you know style of working as well and that is going to give you a lot of success all right i hope this makes sense 12th lord moving into the 10th house it's a beautiful placement it is going 11 places away from itself most terrible thing that could happen is that it could bring a lot of disruption in your karma in your workplaces this is a possibility that might come into play that you might have constantly changing profession you might have constantly changing um, a career which could result into you you know changing your place of residence and moving around as well it might require you to do tons of travel as well but i see this as a positive possibility because what this could do is that it could bring in elements where you have to constantly transform yourself your desires or ambitions will be so high that not one job not one sort of career stream will keep you happy you would want to experiment and try new things and that is how you will succeed as well so you have to pivot same combination into your you know into something which is much more positive for you remember the moksha lord is coming into the artha house so at times you might just lose interest in terms of you know this planet is not very interested in terms of finding the gains but it is going 11 places away from itself so you will be able to fulfill your goals your desires your ambitions by making the right movements and on regular basis so being a lifer in one profession or just sticking to one profession may not be the best bet for you you have to consider all possibilities and explore that how you can make that work for you your own efforts see spending your energies spending your efforts your profession into your karma into your goals is going to bring fulfillment or achievement you 
could find yourself working in international collaboration you could find yourself working in a different country itself uh because of your work because the foreign connection to the 10th is going to bring a very very strong possibility unless and until there is a combustion coming into play or uh it's it's uh, severely de- debilitated or impacted by the malefics even if it is impacted by the malefics there is a very strong possibility that you will work in a culturally different place so 12th lot from that perspective is going to be extremely good your profession could itself be related to all aspects of 12th so you know be it asylums hospitals uh, jails or places of isolation working from home kind of a situation where you feel isolated and working in that sort of a connection that kind of a setup might also be a situation in your case it could bring enterprising ability in you where you do side hustles where you could be moonlighting you have one job in place but you are doing some freelancing activity and you are doing something additional out of that that could very well be possible because the same lord is going to be aspecting your fourth as well fourth is your assets it is your family but this placement is definitely going to result in terms of you shifting away from your native place and living somewhere far off once you make that shift that is where you will find that growth in your career that prosperity that you are seeking your wish fulfillment will be triggered post shift in residence itself there is also a very high chance that post marriage you can see a shift both in your career as well as your residence it could be because of your spouse or it could be a joint call it could be just you know the demand of some sort of a trigger at your workplace and they ask you to relocate once you get married you are just shifting to another country or another region itself you are working in east coast in us and you are shifted to west coast or your spouse has a job in west coast and somewhere and you have to just make a move so you'll have to do that time zone shift and you start working from home right so you have to understand that how this connection is going to be transpiring but it's a good connection it's a good connection when 12th is coming into the 10th because i would not be surprised if you are almost a workaholic by nature like you will be immersing yourself to the zilt in this case there is there are a couple of risks as well you have to be careful in terms of uh, how you express in terms of your communication and stuff because some sort of disrespect at your workplace layoff kind of a situation furlough kind of a situation those possibilities could be there and that is where i am recommending you to look at it from the other lens where you are proactive about those shifts before something comes to you you see how i am trying to pivot so it's 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 this either we can choose to pick a negative mindset you know that the losses are coming to my career and how problematic things can be or you figure out you r- rule your planet and your chart and you see that how you activate that by yourself to your best fruition and you can do that because it's the 11th connection so i hope that makes sense to you now we will talk about the 12th lord going into the 11th house bhavarth bhavam is coming into play here 12th is going 12th to itself it is the loss of the losses it is also the gain of unknown enemies so you will not realize that why people are so jealous of you but invariably you will have people in your circle in your friend circle your elder siblings who could be jealous of your success in this placement is there is a very high possibility that you could be more successful than your siblings or your friend network eventually you are going to be more much more successful and you will not you might consider some of your friends as close friends but they might be very very jealous of you deep inside they are always competitive uh, uh, against you they they might have that kind of a mindset they will not be happy with your gains because this placement is giving you the opportunity to cut on your losses it's a very interesting uh, uh, placement and it's a powerful placement every time in this playlist throughout the course of this journey in the last 12 videos i've i've talked about the importance of house lord going same places away from itself lagna lord being in lagna second second to itself third third from itself fourth fourth from itself and so on 12th is going 12th from itself so it becomes a positive connection it does not necessarily mean that losses are coming against your incomes no when i talked about the 11th house i referred how you have to see the cash inflow investments and cash outflow and the savings or the profit statement i talked about looking at at it like a balance sheet 
you have to continue with your mindset here as well here the losses are not coming into play it's the investment the planning of investments right at the time of wish fulfillment or uh, goal uh, achievement is coming into play means if you are a smart person you will know that as you are planning about achieving your targets or your goals or your income you are also strategizing about every place that you have to invest into and the way you know, the moment you start thinking in this way losses will be cut short and you will be building wealth it is a good combination for an enterprising uh, situation coming in your life even if you are in a you know job today if you are working under somebody because 12th lord has a connection with 6th eventually this will lead you to run your own business because it is going to give you that impetus to find that gains against the investments that you are making you might have to put in a seed capital and that will work for you investment not loss is coming into the gains your investment every time you invest into something it is going to bring in gains and sitting in from there at the 11th it is aspecting your fifth as well means it's going to be a good fortunate connection every time it comes to creative pursuits or stock market trading and investment strategies long term view in these aspects why do i say long term 12th is the un unimagined realm it's not just the spiritual realm it is a long distance view a long term view something that you cannot see physically panning out right now so long term investor if you have your 12th lord coming in 11th and you are a long term investor into anything it doesn't just mean stock market if you invest long into your profession if you think long terms towards your goals say you have a desire to own a mansion if you have a vision that you know before i retire i'm going to have this sort sort of a home or 10 years down the line no matter what i'm going to own this kind of a car and i'm talking about materialistic possessions because we're talking about the 11th house here if you have those kind of long term goals your investments in terms of money in terms of your mind in terms of your physical energy in terms of your spiritual energy will get aligned in that direction and you will achieve it and especially if you have benefits impacting it as well if if that 11th a uh, house is not deeply afflicted you are going to make it happen for yourself so it's a good placement from that angle however if you are not having that plan in place if you are not having your desires in place it could result into losses too it could result into loss of reputation it could result into loss of respect your desires could be the reason that you face a downfall and by desires i i mean see 11th house has its own constraints and i've i've tried to give a perspective in that video as well in defining what 11th house is so you have to define that what are the right desires for you but if they are out of bounds then this same placement can bring in losses to your life it can bring in instability it can bring in commotion that you've not planned for unforeseen and all the challenges all that isolation all those problems of 12th then will start playing into your 11th and that could be a tricky situation all right i hope that makes sense now when 12th lord is sitting in the 12th house itself this is a decent placement it's a good placement why because see the lord of all these things as we discussed we define the 12th house at the intro of the video is sitting in its own sign it's in its own house and it is much more comfortable here you are the people who know where to spend your money you are the people who know where to spend your time and energy at times you are even lazy to a certain extent because you are like you know i know i can get this work done in so much so amount of time or you know i know that i have this much budget and you know within this budget i'm going to buy this specific clothing apparel or whatever product you want to buy and you'll not waste time you you you're just going to do that and then come back to your comfort zone and be there because like you already know what you want every time it comes to the outflow every time it comes to the spending and the spending is not just money it could be anything like you would not want to you know spiritual connect for, for you would not be sitting and chanting for 10 hours you need those brief moments of meditation where you just connect to the higher self and you feel uplift, uplifted 
you, you see how it happens for you you are again people who try to do things differently you might not do different things in fact in your case you could do very very different things that are not common because this is a different realm we are talking about in terms of this house so your mind would be thinking in a much different way but you are very comfortable in in whatever place you are and from here you are aspecting your sixth so daily regimen daily schedules are not a thing for you 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 will you will pan out your own schedule what works for you you are not one of those people that you have to go by the book and wake up at 5 am go for a jog you know then do xyz no that's not how things work for you now i'm not saying that you're not an early riser what i'm trying to say is you are the people who like to work in your own schedules and you're very very comfortable with that and you hate it when somebody tries to put you in a structure because that is the opposition coming in from the sixth you do not like that you are you know people with this kind of a structure i think this is a very good possibility again the lord of expense is sitting in the house of expense but it's a good combination for somebody to be enterprising now i'm not saying you are going to run a large business but you could be self employed doing something of your own running your own shop your own clinic your own something that gives you the flexibility to operate the way you would want to because the moment you are put in a constraint under some sort of a micromanagement you will feel uncomfortable and uneasy and you would want to come out of it so i think this is this is a good placement even the you know i touched upon what planets and who will operate better but you know malefics are going to do decently well in here as well and it is not a not exactly a vipreet raj yoga but or not a raj yoga but 12th being in 12th 8th being in 8th 6th being in 6th are usually the combinations which tend to perform pretty good you if you are stuck in the rut of a daily schedule in a job or something of that sort somehow you have to find a path carve out a path if you are listening to this that in the long run that how do you carve your own journey once you do that you you are going to take off in a in a completely different direction and you know you will find your wings so i hope guys this made sense to you you enjoyed the reading and you enjoyed the entire playlist if you have not watched other videos please go that go back and watch them and smash on that like button keep watching dev astrology thank you for all your support om namah shivaya